somebody who's on our window all the time. Jo Joy Johnson, she was a longtime friend of the Today Show, passed away. At 86 years old, she was an avid runner, taking part in her 25th New York City Marathon over the weekend. As always, she stopped by the plaza on Monday for a chat just hours before she passed away. 86-year-old Joy Johnson died one day after doing what her daughter says Joy loved most. Besides her faith and her family, I would say running was one of the big loves of her life. Joy ran the New York Marathon for the 25th time Sunday. She fell near mile 20, but refused medical treatment and finished the race in just under eight hours. Monday morning with a bandage on her head, Joy continued a long-standing tradition, visiting us here on the plaza. My gosh, and you fell yesterday, but you're okay? Oh, yeah, I just... Uh, it looks worse than it really is. Well, you it's look fresh. beautiful. Thank you for coming Thank down. She's been here. But Joy told her sister she didn't feel well. She went back to her hotel for a nap, but never woke up. She wanted to die with her track shoes on, and she did, literally. Joy was the oldest woman to complete the New York Marathon, a title since 2011. The 86-year-old grew up on a Minnesota dairy farm, moving west to California. Working as a gym teacher, she didn't take up running until the age of 59, when a friend suggested they enter the 1988 New York Marathon. She became a familiar face at marathons across the country, even profiled by the Wall Street Journal. If my husband was living, oh, he would be so proud of How many of you want all Joy's post-marathon routine always included a stop here on the plaza. This young lady has been in every time, every year she comes here. Congratulations, good to see you here again. We always look forward to seeing you. She got to talk to... Her buddy Al, that nice young man, she calls him. How'd you do this year? Um, really slow. Oh, yeah. But at 73, I was going to really say. Slow. The New York Marathon won't be the same without Joy, and neither will our plaza. Uh, you know, she would have turned 87 on Christmas Day, and uh, even leading up to the last race, she stuck to her routine, which was uh, a re daily routine of coffee, a Bible, and an eight-mile run. So, uh, very special. Well, I think from now on, on the day after the marathon, we should stop just for a moment and remember Joy here on the plaza. Yeah, absolutely.